What's going on, guys? How's it going? It's Matthew Patterson here, talking from my house, right? I'm doing... What's going on, guys? How's it going? I'm here for Mrs. Lucas's Pi Day project, right? So I'll be doing math for the first time in, I don't know, 15 years. But we're going to see how it goes. Because I'm at home and totally bored. What I'm going to also do is I'm going to throw in for free, this is how you make a homemade pizza from home. So look, here's the situation, right? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, right? This right here is a bread maker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set it up, right? And then afterward, I'm going to show you after I put all my stuff in, right? Exactly what the dough looks like. We're going to do this from scratch, yo. Stick around. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put all the material in the bread maker, right? This first step. First thing we're doing is flour. Fat, you know what? Nobody wants to see this. We'll fast forward. Okay, so I got the flour, sugar, whole milk, powder, right? The butter, all the water in. The only thing I have to do left is put in the dry yeast, right? If I was better at science, I would explain what this does. But it's magic. All right, so we're going to put this in. I'm going to set it up, right? 45 minutes later, we're going to take it out. They're just going to have to sit for about an hour. That's previewing, yo, right? What standard is this? P-I-Z-Z-A 1.7. Wu-Tang. All right, second step here. So look, all I'm going to do here is flour the surface, right? No big deal at all. The reason why you're flouring the surface is because you don't want your dough to stick. So I'm reaching into the, uh, the bread maker. I'm taking out the dough real easy. It's, it's fine. No problems. Pretty much just what we expected, right? We're going to end up shaving this up just a little bit, right? That's it. It's a little bit easier to take. It's going to be kind of a thicker dough. If I didn't want it to be a thick dough, what I do is I just get it in half. But look, this is exactly the way it looks. Look at this, huh? Delicious! Delicious! It's exactly the right temperature. So look, once again, I'm going to pause this for a second. Then we're going to do literally a step-by-step -step process on how you make a pizza. I certainly hope, like, and here's the deal too. At this point, you don't necessarily have to have bread maker, right? You can do it by hand, but I'm a lazy individual, right? I like to cut corners when possible, so that's why I chose the bread maker. But ultimately, all you need is a big bowl, some yeast, some water, and some dough, right? And you'll be fine, right? All of these things you probably have at your house. If you don't, pretty easy to get. So look, I'm going to postpone it for a while, right? We're going to put this on pause. Not the cat kind. What? What? Man, these are funny jokes, right? I'm going to let it sit for 45 minutes-ish, right? Something like that. See if it rises. It will, right? Like the Falcons, it will rise up. Gurley signed today. What? Yeah, that's right, Dante Fowler and Gurley. But anyway, I'm pausing this. See you guys in about 45 minutes. Okay, we're back. So if you can see over here, right? Let's make sure we get this uh, pretty close, right? Hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. There it is. There's the dough. So it's looking pretty good, right? It's risen, right? It's like the Falcons next year. It'll be good, right? Let's make sure we get this thing. Oh, there it is. There it is. So now we're back. So when we were making a pizza, right? First thing you need to do is wash your hands. I don't know about you guys, what songs you've been singing recently, but for me, I've been singing So Fresh and So Clean. Just so fresh and so fresh and so clean, clean, right? So it's about 20 seconds, right? We'll make sure we got a uh, all of our uh, hands sanitized and all that other kind of stuff. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. You're staying safe, right? The pizza making process is really about to catch into high gear here. So my hands are sanitized. So the first thing we're gonna do is put on breadcrumbs. We're going to put these breadcrumbs on the pizza stone. Now you might ask yourself, why are you doing that? Right? And I understand that. I ask myself that a lot. Right? But what this does is it's going to give 
a little bit of separation between the dough and the stone. Now, the stone is pretty cool, actually. They're pretty cool things. The more you use the stone, the better it works, right? It's like the first time you use it, it's, ah, you know, the thousandth time you use it, it's amazing, right? And everything cooks a little equally. So, what we're going to do here, we're about to get rolling. Now, I'm going to move that right there. I'll probably pause in a second. That way we can switch over there. You can see the actual pizza being constructed. So, we're going to get rolling here, right? We're going to roll out the dough. Roll out the dough. I hope you guys can see this, right? Because it's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. So, what we're doing here, right? We put a little bit of... Uh, flour makes it easier right no big deal right all you want to do is and like you know if you like a, a thinner pizza right you can have less dough well, that sounds very facile but it really is the truth right so what we're gonna do right now I'm gonna take this off this and I'm gonna put it on the pizza stone there it is so if we look we're right here okay now I'm gonna pause this for a second we're going to move this over here, and we're about to construct this pizza. All right, one second. All right, we're back. I couldn't figure out the angle on the other side, so we're just going to do it this way. All right, so we have our dough. It's been rolled out. Looks good. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add oil. Let's add oil. Now, this is where I keep my very nice Italian oil, right? It's crazy how much oil is if you've never looked it up, right? But this is from Tuscany. This is where I do my special cooking, right? It's right here. Uh, so Tuscany olive oil, right? Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spread it all around, right? And if you see, it's a little bit lighter than a lot of things you see in other places, right? So here we go. Putting this right here, right? Now it's very important that you get your dough, the oil, all the way on the outside because it's going to give it a really nice brown flavor, right? Okay, it's going to look and taste great. So make sure you get the dough all the way out. Now, at that point, we'll put a little bit of salt because we want different layers of flavor, right? That's what I guess all the cooking shows are talking about. Layers of flavor. So a little, a little splash of salt there, right? Now it's time for the sauce, right? Okay? Now, I don't know about you, but I like a lot of sauce. In fact, a lot of people actually say that. They say, hey, Patterson, you got so much sauce on your pizza? And I say, that's right. That's how I like it. Lots of sauce. So anyway, right, this is paste available in every Kroger. Hunt's paste, right? I like the paste. I think it works a little bit better than the sauce, right? It gives a little bit of that strong tomato flavor. So what we're going to do here is just push this around with our spoon, right? We're pushing it around with our spoon. Now we're tired of that, so we're gonna push it around with this little spatula, right? What people often say when they're talking to my rivals, not enough sauce, all right? So we're gonna put a little bit more there. Boy, this is exciting, you know? I'm sure many of you are asking yourself at this point, why? Did I decide to look at this? This guy could be doing this so much faster. You know, you're not wrong. Anyway, so that's there. So what I do at this point, right, is I like garlic, right? So I'm gonna put on a significant amount of garlic. Now you might say, oh, that's too much garlic. It's too much garlic, but here's the deal. You know, you're making the pizza how you like it. That's the best part about it, right? So once again, you gotta remember too, like so, I mentioned this earlier in the show, garlic, okay, is it as good as the fresh garlic? Ah, not really, but if you overuse it, right, it has that same kind of pop, right? It's annoying, like when you're when you're doing the garlic by hand, it's irritating, right? So I just, I, I cheap out and do this. It's very good, also available at your Kroger, right? So now what we have here, so we have the garlic, it's pretty much close to everything, right? It's there, I'm gonna wash our hands just a little bit, right? Make sure that we're uh, sanitary, you know? So look, at this point, we're gonna, gonna go with the fresh ground pepper, right? Now for me personally, I love fresh ground pepper, right? I want the, the uh, 
crust to have a little bit of bite, right? That's what you want, right? So like, um, and I like it, uh, I like it uh, ground, you know, not finely, right? I, I like a lot of pepper, you know? Like I really want the, the bottom of the pizza just kind of explode with flavors, right? Because when you're going, you gotta remember there's cheese and other stuff on top, right? So you want this bottom stuff to really be kicking it, right? Anyway, so, I think that's pretty good. We're feeling pretty good with this, right? Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put on our first layer of cheese, okay? This is regular mozzarella, right? No big deal. Now there's a lot of people that will swear by uh, fresh mozzarella. My oven, although it's very nice, right? It's a convection oven, which means everything, you know, cooks in a fairly even manner, right? So, you know, you're looking at this and you're saying to yourself, okay, that seems like a decent amount of cheese, right? That's right, that's exactly correct. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the turkey pepperoni turkey pepperoni, right? Like it's turkey, but it's still pretty good. You know, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a, another layer of cheese afterward, right? Simply because I like it when all the flavors kind of mix together, right? Plus, you know, if a cheese is all white, sometimes it gets boring, huh? All right, here we go. So, next thing I'm doing, I don't know if you can hear my cat crying, but you know, obviously, doesn't like the jokes either. Whatever, right? I'm gonna keep them coming. So, next thing I have is a little cut up uh, red pepper, right? Here it is, right here. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it on right there. It's perfect, right? Very cool. Then I've uh, gotten some tomatoes. I'm gonna squeeze those out, right? Right, they've already been squeezed. Here we go, like this, right? First, we're gonna do here. I'm gonna put on another layer of cheese, right? Looking good. Layer of cheese, right? A little bit more. There it is, right? It's really starting to look so fantastic. Fantastic. All right. So the last thing we got to do here, right, is the final part, which it'll give a little bit more color too, right? I got some uh, fresh oregano, and you know, I know you're asking yourself, Patterson, you're supposed to be quarantined. How did you get this fresh oregano? Well, the answer is, I grow it in my house. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Pat's Oregano. All right, so you know it's gonna be flavorful. So all I'm doing here, right, is I'm cutting these up really quickly. It's gonna do just an easy chop, right? I'm putting this on top. This should be good. This should infuse it with quite a bit of flavor. Put a little bit more, in case you didn't believe me. This is what fresh oregano looks like, guys, right? It's beautiful, right? Some people don't like it, but you know, whatever. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I am right now going to go ahead and put the pizza in the oven. Man, looks delicious, right? Ooh, ooh. All right, I'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, so if you look right now, Right? There's the pizza. It's about halfway done. Right? I'm going to bring you over here just so you can see it. Right? That's what it looks like when it's halfway done. Right? All right. So, hopefully no one is getting sick right now. It's kind of the avant-garde film part of the section. You know, lots of camera movement. Maybe it means something. Maybe it doesn't. All right. We'll be right back. So, we're about to take it out. Now, I like my pizza to be a little brown on top, right? Look at this, huh? Look how beautiful this is. Ooh, almost dropped it there. That'd be exciting, huh? All right, so I'm going to bring it over, right? Here we go. Oh, man. That is delicious. And that's how pizza looks when you make it at Patterson's house. Look, I hope people enjoyed this, right? Sorry that you wasted 15 minutes of your life. But, it, you know, we're all on uh, home isolation, so what else are you really doing? Stay safe. Talk to you later. One more look at the pizza, huh? Oh, look at that. Just delicious.